So <clears throat> what we're gonna do is unison bends again because they're all over this original track. The manic track, I mean, it's in the verses, the solos, moving out of the song, everywhere. So we gotta do them. So we're gonna do it on the G and B strings. We're gonna be bending on the G string and we're gonna have this whole step apart. Okay, so two frets and we're gonna bend. I'm gonna call out the string I'm bending on. So in this case, we're gonna do two bends in position one right here at five and seven, G and B. Now you can kind of work your way into the bend on the first one and then on the second one, you know, go to it and shake it around a little bit more like you mean business. You're, you're working your way in and then bam, you're there. So you might as well, you know, shake it like you mean it, right? Now from that point, we're gonna go up to 10 and eight. Do one time and then come down to where our G would be. And we're gonna do one bend there. Before we return to position one. So we got Okay, now we're gonna do a standard position one bending lift. Okay, so what we've done there is we bent up on the G string seventh fret. And then we catch the high E fifth fret. Pull off from eight to five on the B. And then we're gonna return to the eighth fret B, but immediately slide to the A note on the 10th fret. So we got. Okay, and now that point. We're gonna go back and forth between the E and the B string. Now the tricky thing is remember that the tempo is. In the meter, so you got to do it with kind of a swung feel. So it's going to be. So just practice that part until you're comfortable going back and forth between the strings with that kind of a feel. And then we're going to move up to the next one. So what I'll do from that point is now I'm going to drop my ring finger on the 10th fret of the E and slide it up to the 12th fret. And then with my first finger, I'm gonna catch the 10th fret or our A note again twice on the B string. And now I'm gonna slide back on the high E, 12 to 15, moving up to position four and just end up on 15, where I'm gonna slide two, three, and then start over, or go like I did at the very end and finish out with a bending lick. All right, so we're moving all over the fretboard, and again, in this song in particular, we're really following the changes of the song. So in a lot of these songs, you know, you wouldn't necessarily in the original versions, you wouldn't necessarily have to do that because there is singing going on. So we're not playing lead over the whole thing. We're actually doing a lot of rhythm. This is a track where, and like some of the other tracks that we're gonna do here in a minute, where it's kind of lead and rhythm at the same time during the song and both play a really big role and share almost the equal time amount. So. With this particular track, since you're not gonna be singing over it, what we can do is kind of be a little bit more melodic with our playing and follow the chords a little bit more. So it's almost like you're singing, kind of. You know, this could pass for singing. You could talk about your fingers hurting from all the bending we're doing or something, you know? <laughs> anyway, so. That's that in a nutshell. So let's try it again with the track a couple times and then, you know, have some fun.
again, unison bends. We'll do eh, a couple more licks in this particular jam track. Super fun. And we're covering a lot of ground, right? We're trying not to do anything too fast. We're trying to keep it smooth. You know, hitting right on those snares. <laughs> of this song and really take our playing to the next step because Hendrix was a master at not only rhythm playing, but keeping a good feel while his leads were going. There's nothing too fast, nothing too crazy, nothing a good intermediate player. No solo he did, I don't think, you know, with the exception of a couple fast runs and like Booty Child and stuff like that, is out of your reach. So when we're familiarizing ourselves with the style, we're keeping it slow and it's more about being fluid. A lot of the licks, even the fast ones, right? After learning tons of the songs and teaching them, they're not difficult technically, they're just really fluid and they transition really well from one to the other and it's just really smooth. So that's more what the style is about, developing that really smooth and fluid style in that pentatonic kind of thing. You know? Right, so you're just flowing through the licks. So we're gonna work on that a couple more licks here, or work on that on a couple more licks here, and then we'll transition to the next song.